This is the building science of Akoya Wood. The product is non-toxic and made in a sustainable fashion and is compelling enough for an impressive cradle-to-cradle -cradle gold certification. When you're working with the wood and you put coatings on it because it doesn't expand and contract like typical woods do, uh, your coatings are going to last much longer on this wood. What about maintenance? Is this a, a heavily maintained product? That's the beauty about this product and it's one of the reasons why the process was looked at so hard and, and ultimately uh, perfected is because it gives them a substrate that's easy to work with, but it's also minimal expansion contraction. It virtually has no warp, uh, cracking, splitting, checking, that type of thing. So your coatings are gonna last much longer on something like this. Highly regarded as one of the top 10 bridges in the world, the Moses Bridge, which I'm standing on, combines design, engineering, and function and is a living case study of Akoya Wood's durability in water. The bridge sits almost flush with the soil and the level of the water, making it practically invisible as you approach it. It is built from Akoya Wood sheet piling on either side with a hardwood deck and stairs in between. Akoya has also been used to create a unique floating bridge. This pedestrian bridge allows access to an 18th century fort. The snake-like path mimics the journey and motion of the boats which originally traveled there. These types of bridges wouldn't be possible with other types of woods, as decay would become a major issue. But Akoya's wood is engineered specifically for this type of application. The engineering standards of Akoya wood go far beyond its durability in water. The same standards apply to all types of projects, like Park 2020, which is a full-service, cradle-to-cradle working environment. This business park boasts a unique level of sustainability and is created together with a design approach to realize a clean, inspiring, and productive work environment, which is why Akoya was chosen for its external cladding, windows, and other accent pieces spread throughout the park. There's alternative materials out there that everybody, the architects, the builders, the homeowners, um, all have options that can also come to some of the same conclusions. But if you want wood, and you want exterior durability with that wood, this is a great choice for all of those options. Next on Building Science, our team examines the more unique applications used with Akoya Wood and the innovation driving architects to use this product in spectacular ways. For Building Science, I'm Adam Grubb.